Hello everyone, great to see you today. Welcome to my skincare routine update. You may have seen previously that I uploaded a video demonstration of what I had been using for my skincare routine for the past spring and summer season. So today I thought I ought to sit down and chat with you in further detail on each and every single one of the products that um, I shown in that video along with a few extra bits that I didn't add. But all together, a fun little talk through of what I've been using for my day to day skincare routine. Let's begin by talking about my morning routine. I like to keep things very simple using products that balance my skin that does provide enough moisture to last me for the day but doesn't burn my skin or feel very very heavy because you do want to start off with clear bright fresh skin and that's kind of my philosophy towards it so first off I start with my cleanser which currently is the citrus clear gentle cleanser in natural Tahitian lime now citrus clear is a line that focuses a lot on healthy plants and fruit extracts in their skincare products and this one in particular is designed for sensitive skin it contains amino acids and vitamin c it is not an absolutely natural product but it does contain a very large percentage of um, natural ingredients and organic ingredients such as aloe vera lavender we have here um, vitamin c willow bark lime essential oil rose hip grapefruit a whole slew of good sounding ingredients in here. Um, what I really love about this cleanser, although it doesn't foam very much and pretty much not at all, is the fact that it does seem to make my pores temporarily appear minimized when I use this consistently. And that's something very surprising and very good for me because I do have large pores and this feels not only refreshing, it smells like a tropical fruit cocktail, but also it does balance, refresh my skin and makes my skin just feel good in the morning. So I've used probably almost halfway down the bottle now and as you can see, the um, label is quite worn out because I've been keeping this in my bathroom, sometimes in the shower, but mostly I use this during the daytime in the morning. Now, the next two set of products I bought actually together in a set. And um, these two products have really impressed me with how well they work. They're from Laneige, both of them, and you may remember this from a previous video, but it's been a long time since I have used Laneige products. Um, I used to remember them as being very heavily fragranced. Sometimes they can be a little bit greasy, but this line called the White Plus Renew have impressed me so, so much. And especially because I went to Toronto for about a week and um, I didn't want to take these big glass bottles with me so I took something else when I was away and once I came back and started using these products again I could really see and feel the difference in my skin I think that is definitely um, a visible proof to how well they work for my skin condition right now so the first thing I would use is a toner which in this case is called the white plus renew skin refiner now don't be confused about the term, refiner, toner, they're pretty much the same thing, just different terminology in different uh, markets, Western market versus the Asian market. This stuff is quite viscous. It has a thicker gel-like consistency, but it doesn't feel sticky on my skin. They tell you to use a cotton wool to wipe this over your skin. Sometimes I do that, other times I just use my hands to pat this into my skin. This is not a essential product in the routine, but because I bought them as a set, I decided to use them together. I do like this. This is very refreshing, yet it does provide a light hydrating base for the moisturizer that I use afterwards. Um, so this one from Laneige is my toner then I use this called the white plus renew emulsion again difference in terminology emulsion is roughly translated into the Western term of a light moisturizer or a light lotion in Asian skincare it's often referred to as an emulsion and um, anything in a jar that is a cream moisturizer is usually called a cream so that is separate um, I decided not to get the cream and just go with the light moisturizer or emulsion as they call it because I find it to be usually sufficient enough during the spring and summer season and um, that you know turned out to be exactly the case I didn't need anything heavier in fact most of the times I use this at night as well and it functions perfectly for that purpose 
Laneige products, I think over the years, maybe they've changed some of their formulations and uh, concoctions, but they don't seem to be as heavily fragranced as I remember. I mean, when I first started using skincare, I remember Laneige being very heavy in their scents. And even currently, some brands such as Dior um, put a lot of fragrance in their skincare products. But this one doesn't seem to be so bad. And I do find with consistent use, this does help to keep my skin clarified and brightened yeah i mean we are in the summer season i do go out in the sun a lot i mean i use my spf but it's inevitable that my skin it gets uneven and a little bit patchy so using a skin brightening product or whitening product during the summertime is especially crucial for me and i do like this i do look forward in fact to um adding their um white plus renew um serum that's in a bottle. I have that on order. It's gonna come in sometime soon. Maybe I'll talk to you guys about it if you wanna hear more about that in the future. So the Laneige products are what I have been using. They don't contain any SPF. Now, you guys always ask me about my SPF in my skincare routine. Yes, I use one, but only if I'm going out for the day. If I'm staying at home, no need to burn my skin with an extra layer of something that might irritate my skin. Because personally, my skin is very reactive to a lot of sun protection products. So if I don't need it, I don't use it, it and I definitely don't purposely look for it as part of my um, skincare just because it's something that might very easily break me out. Now when we're talking about my nighttime routine, I tend to look at it from two points of view. Number one, thorough cleansing of my skin. And number two, repairing, nourishing, adding products that really help my skin heal. And especially during the time when you're sleeping, I've been told that is the optimal time to um, repair your skin because your skin is a lot more receptive to whatever that you treat it with at that time. So for me, cleansing, definitely first step. If I'm not wearing any makeup, foundation, sunscreen, I go straight to skin cleansing um, so I'm not going to talk about kind of makeup removal right now and I use these two together the first is my beloved Shiseido perfect whip cleansing foam I talk about this on so many occasions it is really I would say the best um, affordable combination skin cleanser I have ever used in my entire skincare life experience it is really that good and uh, this is something I've been using for many many years sometimes I will veer away to try out something new but I always come back to this and this is really a skincare staple for me it makes really sort of fluffy dense luxurious bubbles if you're using it by hand and if you're using it with something like the Clarisonic Mia it just works for me and it's great for combination skin without drying me out but also thoroughly cleansing I just really love the formulation of this one. The Clarisonic Me I've had for many years, you guys already know this, and currently I have on here the Deep Pore Cleansing Brush. Does it make a big difference? I'm not certain, but I did receive a, um, actually I was gifted um, a set of the brush heads for my birthday. So I thought I'd pop this one on and currently I'm just using the deep pore version of the brush head. So Clarisonic Mia along with my Shiseido Perfect Whip Cleansing Foam to thoroughly cleanse my skin every single night. Then for exfoliation purposes, I have been using this which is um, a lot simpler than what I normally would use. I mean, once in a while, I would still use my PMD, the Personal Microdermabrasion System, but that stuff is pretty hardcore and quite intensive. So on a day-to-day basis, I've been using this thing, which is from Etude House, the baking powder line called Pore Crunch Scrub. Sounds very mysterious, doesn't it? But what it is, when you pop open the package, is a set of 24 little packages of um, exfoliating cream. So this is a very kind of thick, creamy consistency, but within it, there's a lot of very fine, micro-fine granules to thoroughly exfoliate your skin. I think it does a very good job. For those of you who keep telling me to stop using the St. Ives Apricot Scrub because it's harsh and it gives you micro cuts, I've been listening. I've been trying out new things just to switch things up a little bit. So currently, I've been using this one from Etude House. Not only do I love how small the package is, so you can take it for traveling, I can probably get two uses out of each single package like this, but I do like the the grit of the product. It's really like fine sandpaper, so I like that one a lot. And uh, from Etude House right there, 
for exfoliating my skin. Then sometimes, depending on how I feel, I would use a toner, which is again this from Laneige. We talked about this during the daytime. And then I would go straight to a essence or a serum, something to really help repair my skin, something a little bit more potent and intensive. And currently I've been trying to use up this one from the brand called Mizon. This is their multifunction snow repair intensive ampule, which I know the name will throw you off, is a um essence slash serum type of product you use it kind of after your cleansing and before your moisturizer is meant to really help um, intensify and um and actually intensively repair your skin is what it's meant to do now do i think this is the end all be all of a treatment product no do i think it works to a certain extent Yes, will I enjoy using it for the rest of its duration? I think so. What I find that this is best for is very gently clearing up any minor spots and blemishes when used consistently. This is not an overnight miracle product, which is a little bit disappointing. However, I do find the snow secretion to work um, for my skin. And I love the Mizon Snow Repair BB Cream. That's something I use very frequently. And this one, I've just been looking to finish it up. Um, I do have to use this very consistently on a day-to-day -day basis to see results, but I do find it keeps my skin and helps to keep my skin clear from um, any minor breakouts or spots without irritating my skin one bit. So this one from Mizon is what I currently use. Then when it comes to moisturizers, this gets a little bit complicated, so pay attention. Usually, I would use my light moisturizer, which again is from Laneige, what I use during the day. But probably two times a week or three times a week, I have been using this. And this is something I like enough to keep in my routine, but I don't absolutely love it. But I want to talk to you about it anyways, because I think it has good potential. And this is from the brand called Made From Earth. I'll show you the top right here. Made From Earth, and this is their vitamin C moisturizer. Comes in a glass jar, and this brand actually focuses a lot on holistic skincare. Natural ingredients, natural products, a lot of times organic ingredients as well. It has a good base. It has a lot of healthy things, such as organic aloe, cocoa butter, sunflower, um, and also organic coconut, vitamin C, wheat germ, flaxseed, organic grape, vitamin B5, the list goes on. Um, I do think this is quite a heavy and dense cream. For those who do have oily skin, probably not your thing, but if you have combination to dry skin or you plan to use this during the winter time, I think this is a lot more fitting for anyone's skincare routine. It does have that herbal scent, which may or may not put you off depending on your personal taste. But what I do like about this is the fact that when used consistently, it does help to even out my overall skin tone. It doesn't technically brighten my skin, it doesn't visibly you know, make my skin any whiter or brighter or anything like that, but with consistent use, it does help to even out any dark patches and even patches. However, for me, because this is such a dense product, I can't use it on a day-to-day -day basis or else my skin feels a little bit burdened in that way. And on top of the fact, I do hope that they will eventually move this to a better packaging, something with vitamin C and it really shouldn't be in an open jar. You know, it's not stable. It tends to oxidize very quickly. So that's a downside to this, but I do think that this product has a lot of potential and um, which is why I keep using it and it is part of my skincare routine it has been for at least a month or two now now the next thing I want to talk about is kind of an extra bonus and actually the next two things are both kind of bonus products I use and the first one is the Laneige water sleeping pack now this is a night mask that you use and yes it comes in a jar because it is actually a gel consistency I'll show you right here looks like a blue gel, actually looks like something maybe from H2O Plus that they would make, but this is from Laneige. And um, this is something I put on my skin after I've done the, um, you know, the serums, the moisturizers. This is the last step to seal in everything. On top of the fact that this adds immense amount of moisture and hydration to my skin. I love using this probably about twice a week or so, probably more if I'm going into the winter season, but during the summer, one or two times a week, my skin is feeling parched. It needs that extra hydration. This is fabulous for those who have easily dehydrated skin. Or even if you have oily skin, if you have been using some very harsh treatments, such as sulfur or benzoyl peroxide, or like a whole slew of um, intensive acne treatments, and your skin is feeling dry and peeling, 
around the edges. Really try and think about um, incorporating something like this, a sleeping pack into your routine. It does not break me out. It does not um, make my skin feel greasy. It's not oily. It doesn't contain alcohol. It just nourishes your skin as back that moisture you really need um, once in a while, you know, when your skin is feeling a little bit down. And in the morning time, you just wash this right off and go along with whatever your morning routine is. I've been really enjoying this little bonus and I do think that this will be in my routine for a very long time. So that stuff is great from Laneige, but that's a little extra bonus I used once in a while. Then I do want to address eye cream because you guys ask me about this so frequently. Why do you not use an eye cream? Where's your eye cream? And quite honestly, from my personal opinion, I don't think eye cream is one of those crucial essential things to use. I do think that it has a place. I think that if you're experiencing severe puffiness, severe um, under eye darkness, um, if you have fine lines and wrinkles, you're using it for anti-aging, by all means, go for it, go for an eye cream. But for someone whose skin is still quite young and I don't have any major issues, I only use an eye cream when I feel like I need a little bit of extra moisture. Any face cream that is gentle and non-irritating, you can absolutely take it up to around your eye area. There's no rule that says you can't use normal face cream around your eyes. Or if you wanna go for something healthier, try to use a natural oil. Maybe a macadamia nut or maybe even rose hip is great for around the eyes for hydrating. But there isn't a hard set rule on the fact that you absolutely must use an eye cream. And I kind of you have to talk to people a lot about this and kind of put down my foot about it because um, I really only use eye cream when I feel like I need that extra kick of moisture that whatever else I'm using isn't able to provide. And currently on, um, on call actually in my skincare routine is this, the Avon Elements Moisture Boost Eye Cream. This is nothing fancy. It doesn't do anything much other than hydrate my skin. But for hydrating around the eye area, this is perfect. It's very potent. It's very nourishing and it lasts for a long time. So I do have this in my bag, but I don't use it on a day-to-day -day basis. So there you have it, my very complete skincare routine for the past spring and summer season. Any of these products that you have seen that I have not reviewed and it doesn't say, you know, reviewed on the little label here, feel free to request a review down in the comment section below. Pop me an email, you know, YouTube message, whatever that you guys do, and I'd be happy to add that to my review list. A lot of skincare I do tend to review up on my blog, so if you don't follow me on my blog or you don't read my blog, that's a good place to check out a lot of skincare review and Asian beauty product reviews. Um, a lot of these products I do feel like would likely carry over to the winter season. Of course, I will retire some of them and add new products. So hope you guys look forward to the next skincare update. And if you have any questions or comments, pop them down below and I'll get back to you very soon. Until next time, take great care of yourselves. See you later. Bye-bye.